Welcome back everybody. I'm Simone. I'm an experienced Risk Global Domination player. Today we are playing on the Central America map, Fixed Cards, World Domination. Should be a good one. 90 second turn timer, hard uh, AI difficulty, automated behavior, no rank restrictions, alliances, fog, and portals all off. Blizzards are on. And if you notice, I am playing out of the fifth position. We've got a five player game here. There's a blizzard here down in Panama. There's also one, uh, two actually blocking off the center of Mexico. So yeah, blue's gonna probably take this in here, knock me out twice, which is a bit annoying. But uh, yeah, this bottom part of the map is quite the honey pot. Wondering if orange is gonna try to remove grain from here. Grain should try to remove me because I am probably going to try to take this on my next turn. Nobody with a bonus yet. This here to combine for a six would be pretty good on here. Bring it down, try to hold the bottom of the map in South America and make my way up. Some decent bonuses up north. This is only a plus three, and the Central America one is also only a plus three, but blue going for that, whacking my two early on, not, uh, not my favorite thing, but... We'll see if green plays for this down here. If he's smart, he hits me and removes me. And then I'm kind of in a bad spot. He's getting four troops. I will be getting five. Yep, he is going to hit me here. Maybe he'll uh, make a gaff and hit orange instead. No, he hits me. All right. Um, so the follow-up question becomes... The follow-up question becomes, where can I play for now? Mexico is going to be too difficult to hold. It looks like black has a lot of position for Canada. Northern U.S., I don't have... I guess southern U.S. is maybe a place to go for. Um, really wish the green player didn't do that. Kind of already ruins my game just because I'm out of the fifth position. <sighs> All right. Slow and steady uh, wins the race in fixed cards, though. So we will hit green because they're on 13 territories and also annoying. And I will hit them twice up here because, again, they are annoying. Into attack phase, and we will point at them and at orange and blue, hopefully to get them out of here and to leave me alone. Hit green twice, they don't get the extra troop on the next turn. Because nobody allowed me to have my extra troop, so why do you get yours? That's the basic question. Five player allows the black player to have an additional territory on the first turn. An additional troop, for that matter. I feel like this map is big enough for a six player game. But uh, it is what it is, and we'll see if we can turn this one around. We're going to get hit by black... Of course. What's he doing? He's going for all of Canada. Not all of Canada. Most of Canada. So this Old Northwest might not be a bad spot. Uh, I don't think Black is going to be able to hold Canada. That is a plus six, and there's so many different spots you can attack it from. How does Blue win that? Also, why didn't he fortify back on the last turn? Very weird. A four on two wins it. I just, I never have that kind of luck. I don't know what it is, but good for him. The orange player playing now. I am by far the weakest player on the board because I was the recipient of many an attack on that first turn. You can see we can actually go through. We got attacked once, twice, two, or three, four, four times on the just the first turn alone. Then we got attacked again by black there and white well orange does actually attack out away from us here so we might be able to secure our first bonus i think holding from here and then just down here is probably the best way to do it because this borders all of these and this protects its uh, additional spot here as well they let green have an early bonus i'm uh, not uh <clears throat> too keen on that black can actually fairly easily break this though if he wants to. Heck, I could maybe leg out a break there as well. 
but I'm not going to. We'll attack this one first. Here, and attack phase, slide down here for protection. This way, if somebody breaks us, we can hit whatever they break us with. This also protects me potentially from this green break here. Black is gonna take, I guess I could've hit that out, but it's kind of annoying. I, I wasn't even focused on that. He lost two on that. Doesn't break me. I will, and he doesn't actually break green either. Which is not, uh, not my favorite thing. Blue takes his bonus. That's putting far too much trust in these other players. I guess the question becomes, are people actually going to let other people hold bonuses here? So I've got a plus four. I doubt, I really highly doubt orange lets black hold this. I don't like the position the orange player is in. Yeah, he doesn't let black hold that. And this is going to cause... So we're on sets now, right? Black might retaliate here. Ooh, he's getting seven. Mm, I don't like that. Maybe I should have hit the four here, but... If he attacks an 11 on six, that's... Uh, that'll be really disappointing. I think he should instead fortify his position. That's three there. He's got four more he can play with. Eight on six would be dumb. You have a six on two here before coming in. That's what he's gonna do. He's gonna put four there. It's taking a very long time. I wish this was 60 second turn timers and not 90. He's already at about 40 seconds or so. Does put all four there. He's gonna have to hit, he's gonna hit me here. Loses one, four on one. All right, we're gonna have to waste material here to remove these positions. Which I didn't really... What are you doing? He's trying to slow roll black. Bro, black doesn't have this bonus anymore. Why wouldn't you just hit here? I guess I can take my bonus back. Um, the problem now becomes this four here. Oh, we just gotta hope for uh, a horse on this. And, you know, maybe he slaps me around there. But this will gain some trust from the black player as well. And I had a feeling black might have a trade on three. He's probably gonna... He might slap, uh, slap Orange Silly here. Really just knock Orange out of the game. We do not get our trade. I think he's going to place the rest over here and just completely remove Orange's presence from this area. Yep. He's going to hit the crap out of Orange. Does not. Interesting. Orange can just loop this and break it again, though. Blue's holding a bonus now. I wonder if they go for a break on both me and Black. Or maybe he makes progress towards Caribbean? Alright, he's going to make progress towards Caribbean. Just takes a single take, steps back. Smart play, I like that. Orange with no bonuses. Orange is in a worse place than me, I think. The 10 trade will certainly help. I'm wondering if he just takes this bonus in here, or he skirts and breaks, or does he try to take all of this? Either way, I think he's kind of in a tough spot. Like, is he just going to go 25 on the 18 right now? That would be basically handing green a win. I think black should have invested a break down here on on green. I'm hoping green hits black here. Yeah, he just went for it. Wow. And that was off trade. So this actually, you know, I was going to say I think this puts blue puts green in the driver's seat. I think this puts blue in the driver's seat. They're getting the same bonus, but blue is significantly stronger. Yeah, black bought it out after that play. Um, wow. Alright, do we see green try to break us again? 10 on 6. If they do, they don't have the extra troop that they got when it was a 7 plus 7. The black bot will stack in front of green here, I think, almost certainly now, which is actually good for me, most likely, as long as I don't have any territory, large territories bordering it. This 5 might come in, though. 
Green taking a while to decide where to place, just like they did on a previous turn. But black is botted, so they're effectively out of this game. They become a danger to us. He's going to place on blue. That could be very interesting. I kind of like that. No, he's going to place here. Brother, what is your deal? Oh. Oh. Go throw him the fist pump. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he let me hold my bonus. He's not. Okay, he accidentally let me hold my bonus. Hello, Fergus. Welcome to the game. So now that, that the he let me hold the bonus, um, orange is still a player, right? Blue is potentially dangerous. I get to hold my bonus for one turn and hopefully take my trade on the next turn. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one, one here. The rest up here. And we'll fist bump to blue. So green can come through there. But I think blue actually likely takes this out. So. Yep, and that's what I hoped was happen. Black stacks right on the bot. That's gonna break me. We got a we got a artillery trade. We did just lose New York, didn't we? Or we're gonna lose New York right now. Yep. Okay. That's gonna hit blue. All right. There's no way blue or orange lets us hold this. Um, it's tough that the bot did that. We can still get an eight trade. I don't know if I hold out for a horse. Blue trades in, puts all six here. Another seven there. He's gonna hit green. Which is good. Now, green's pretty much... Oh, blue doesn't break us. Alright, the question becomes, does orange break us? Or does orange just keep hitting the bot? Like, you don't need to break it. Oh, orange botted too. Okay. So blue is, blue is the danger, but if I can get blue, most of blue's presence out of the north here, maybe green will keep attack Or orange will keep attacking up here and it won't use its attack over here. It's attacked a lot. Green's got a leg through quite a bit of a material to come hit me here. And even more to break me. So, I mean, he's definitely going to put it down here. But, he, you know, if he's got it yet. Oh, okay, four trades. That's not that good. What, he's getting 10? It's going to be 15 here. Hits the four. I mean, you got to hit the four, right? So the play, he loses two. Okay. Loses another one. And then stops. Alright, we're going to take our eight trade now. For longevity's sake. Um, I think I take this here. I, I just shift my bonus. It's only a plus three there, but I just think that's the better play. Oof. Bot might stack on me. I'm just trying to avoid blue. But the bot actually just got seven. The problem is I'm 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 the one next to the two bots, so I just failed an attack up there. Probably pulls this five out. This five here is definitely gonna break me. I weakened blue a little bit. He's still on six, so I got 16 territories. He might just go kill green. I think that's what I would do. Now he's going to break me here. I'll play it. Just does single hit. Stops. Orange bot's got four. Hopefully it doesn't break me here. It's going to break me there. It's going to roll a four on two, which isn't a guarantee. Well, that might hit blue now. No, it splits over here. Okay. I wonder if Orange tries to take Canada. What is going on? Did he come back? 
The bot just froze. Uh, well, well, we've got some downtime. So green backed up. So green actually can't do that much on this next turn. Blue is blue is certainly the threat. Certainly the danger. Um, all right, did fail. That. All right, did it attack this way. So we keep our bonus for another turn. This green's only going to be six. Probably can't go that far. Now, of course, we got the horse. Could have gotten an extra troop or two. Um, I don't think I have a kill on black just yet. Blue is by far the strongest player. And with no real feasible breakdown here. The benefit becomes... I can maybe take this back and stack. But I think I think the bot just hits me. Green's got seven up here. I wonder if he goes and tries to break the black bot out of like a protection feel. No, he's just going to sit. Does he pull the ten out? Oh, he fortifies back. Very weird play. Um... I've got, what, let's go one, three, I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to gain, I'm trying to gain some troops here, just trying to get a little bit bigger, hopefully the bots don't trade on me here, I'm just hoping they keep hitting each other, that'll hit green. But um, I'm considerably weaker than, than blue, so I'm trying to gain some of this back. I've tried to say it a few times. The players in the game, black player Elwin the Fanged. Elwin uh, has left the game. They're from the United States. The blue player Euphoric from Antarctica, apparently, is uh, in the second position. The black player General the Hawk. I think that might be the Fiji flag. They are playing out of the third position. Uh, also botted out the green player. Standard point 33 from the United States in the fourth position. I'm C Money, uh, a peak master level player playing from the United States as well in the fifth position. We did not get our horse. We did get another dude. Gotta love the dudes, everybody. Am I right? Um, something completely random that I'm noticing. So I'm wearing an Outer Bank shirt right now. It's kind of hard to see. It's like a faded styling. It's Lucky Brand. This shirt is actually slightly green, but the green screen keying that I have um, actually drowns out all of the green in it completely. So, that's funny. Uh, an interesting development is the blue player has not placed any troops. We are 45 seconds into the turn. I believe at 60, it will bot him out. Unless he clicks the thing that prevents you from being botted out. But I'd be very surprised if the strongest player in the game left. But it's happened in a lot of our games like recently. There has been quite a botting out problem um, in a lot of the games I've played recently. If you guys watched the video yesterday, I won that video, won that video, won that game solely because someone botted out, which was um, kind of lucky, maybe maybe a bit lucky. I think what I do here, if he remains botted out, is I, I keep getting uh, myself stronger and then. If he, if he actually does, in fact, bot out, which remains to be seen after that turn. Kind of just placed everything for him. We'll see if that continues. But um, don't place too much there. Okay, good. So I won't be able to kill black or orange. And actually, that three in front of green is nice because it... Oh, that's going to break black. Okay. The three in front of green is nice because it forces green to have to hit more. A six on three actually isn't even a guaranteed take. Oh no, it'll be a seven on three. That is guaranteed. Um, but he could lose. He could lose five troops off of it. He does trade in. But because he trades in on six, he's not going to have enough to come break me. Uh, with the amount of territories he's going to have to hit through, at least he shouldn't. And if blue. We'll, we'll wait to see Blue's next turn, but if he's fully botted out, we'll be able to hopefully make a play and potentially card block. See, that 6 on 3 is not a guarantee. Only loses 1. Kind of a lucky lucky hit there. The green player now playing very slowly after repeatedly breaking me. Um, again, not certain if, if Blue has, has botted. Um, let's get 1 on both of these. And my goal is just to continue weakening the orange bot here. So let's go like this and then end attack phase. And I want to point this at 
the closest territory to the green and blue players. We'll see what blue does in the next turn. Probably see a black trade in here in a second as well. That drops an 11 on me. That's probably going to break me, which is really not what I need. I guess I should have fortified this one. Text the two here. Maybe it'll attack some of these twos instead of me. It's going to attack one of these ones down here. It's going to roll the 11 on 6 almost certainly. Fails that because it failed. Oh, it doesn't roll the 11 on 6. Oh, and it even fortifies some of it all. It fortifies all of it facing green. Okay. That's very good for me. Now we get to see if the blue player has actually bought it out or maybe they just took a turn off. We'll find out at about 60 seconds. Whew, I'm going to sit back in my chair a little bit. Okay, he is here. The blue player is here. No, he's a bot. The blue player is a bot. Okay, it just, it botted him out earlier in the turn than I expected. Which, this, this is going to cause trouble, I think, yep, for, for green. It's going to keep hitting green here. And if it leaves a four there, it fortifies in front of green. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no, but it's probably going to roll this 17 right in front of green. Nope, but as a blocker, a big time blocker. Okay, so green green's going to have to deal with that. That's actually very good for me, is the fact that green's going to have to deal with this bot down here. So I don't want to place any big stacks in front of the blue bot. So we're, unfortunately, we're playing with three bots. Uh, and the green player is the only one who hasn't botted, but he's currently weaker than me. We do not have a trade on four. Orange takes the bonus. So the benefit to this is green's, you know, green's going to place their six here. They'll have a 29 but they're not, they're not going to get any further than this, most likely. If he does, then I think I just go roll in and mess him up. If you hit to here, you're just going to attract the attention of the bot. I don't understand this play at all. Is he rolls it? Oh my god, he just rolled that. He's going to go break the blue bonus? Unfortunately, I don't have the material to come break him up, but he's super weak now. That was a really bad play, because that only benefits me, and it actually hurts Blue if, he, if Blue returns. Um, obviously, I can't break this now. Uh, I'm going to just try to take this bonus. I don't think it's going to work. You know what? I'm going to put... I'm going to put everything here because I said I wasn't going to fortify in front of the bot, but well, I, I forgot to, I forgot to break the, the orange bot. The orange bot's going to trade in. It's probably going to break me. I, I think I trust the black bot's going to break the orange bot here. So this will hit me. Black bot hits here. It should break the orange bot. Yeah, it's going to hit the three probably. No, it hits over to the right. Okay. So green has paths out, but nothing I think strong enough or direct enough to hit me. This territory here. So I think green probably puts something to retake the bonus. It probably breaks me here, but I might be able to escort that position out. Now... Orange is very weak, but will be trading it. Yeah, so I play seven here. It's going to hit my three. Um, it's not going to take its bonus back, which is interesting. Okay, it hits there. Hopefully can keep 12 territories. I keep 12 territories. Okay. Now orange, well, orange will probably knock me below 12. Okay, it's fortified up. In, I, I, I said I wasn't going to leave anything in front of it. I left three, and it got that mad at me. Uh, that, that benefits green for sure. That places everything in front of me. Does it? Which which does it break? Does it attack an eleven on eight? Because that's going to be very frustrating. Again, green's weak, so I have to use this opportunity to to strike. Fort Detroit and Kentucky. I own both of those. It does hit this way. Okay, so it doesn't break. Uh, I think Kentucky is where I'm going to want my material here. Do I have a kill on black? I don't think so. Keep thirteen. Green plays. Green's only hits are through territories that are more than one. 
So he's still weak, but he's getting six a turn. I've really just got to get... I think i got to get orange out of here. Also, maybe... Orange is doing a lot of work on black for me, though. I don't want to get anywhere near these sixes and fives, because I think if they'll hit these slightly larger stacks of orange. Now, green's not drafting. Am I going to be playing a game against all bots? Oh, no, it looks like he is playing here. He's going to make a move down here. Which I don't have great pathing for, but he's not going to get it this turn. He's going to bring the six back into his nine. <clears throat> All right. We wanted Kentucky. So... This is really irritating me. I mean, Green's not going to come up here yet. He's on 12, so he's going to get an extra troop, but these probably hit him. Uh, I just want to... I'm going to slap the crap out of the, out of the blue bot. So Green might come up and try to break me here. Black probably tries to break me as well now that it sees that I have this bonus, but I'm hoping I can keep some of these. The benefit is all of black stacks. Other, so this three probably hits me. That attack a four on two, four on one. Oh, it hits my three. I want a four on three. That's nuts. <clears throat> so black not on trade. Depending on how many of these bonuses I can keep, I might be able to kill black on the next turn. We'll see what orange does. Orange might hit this three and help me. Blue didn't see black didn't break this, and blue's not going to be able to break this. So either green's gonna have to come over and break this. Oh, wait, there might be a kill on blue here. Do I have a tra another trade on three? I do not have a trade on three because I had two horses. I got another dude. So that just fortifies against me, and now it's going to hit green. Which is actually nice. So this six is facing, depending on how many of these bonuses it breaks. And now it puts this in front of him, so if he does try to leg a different route, he can go this way. But he's got to hit through stuff. So that's facing me. That might break here, but this one, Great Plains is more is is more better. Oh, that three might hit me. Great Plains is a better is a better hit. Blacks on cards. That's gonna hit my six. That stinks. It loses everything though, so it can't break this again. Does the three try to roll me? It does not. Do we keep Great Plains for a turn? Do we have kills on any of these bots? That's the other question. The black kill is the most worth it. The black uh, bot is also the weakest. Do we finally see the green player bot out? It's going to depend on if he's got a trade on three, I think. The other question comes, do I have pathing to drastically mess up green's game? I'm going to be getting a lot on this next turn. i got 14 territory, so that's one extra troop there. So that's four, and then I'm getting... 8, so we're getting 12. We don't have a trade, so we got 12. We can put 8 here. Green's going to take this bonus? Oh, he, he did not lose a lot there. Alright, so we kill blue to set, and we use that to break green here. Right. The blue is now by far the easiest kill. It's a straight line, and we can cut back and hit green off of the tr inevitable trade. So sorry, Blue, that you're getting last here. Um, this is not really how I would have had it, but... Blue's gonna get last. We get the trade. It's just horse trade because horses and dudes galore. But we're gonna use this to... Yeah, we'll come in this way. Put that in front of green. <clears throat> Black probably breaks me here. Hopefully that nine just hits across. These probably both get broken though. We're on four cards again. <laughs> of course I don't have a trade, but I have 28 territories. 
And, and even with a trade, green's not going to be able to hit through that much. So this, this nine's going to hit the one here. Hopefully just chill. It's going to come down. Oh, it's going to go over. It might take this bonus now. Bots usually stop after that many attacks. It does. Okay. And so now black is blocking this. Black is actually helping me retain both of these bonuses. Er, well, alright. Both of these bonuses. Maybe just this bonus. <laughs> Interesting. The bot Is the bot going to try to retake its bonus instead of breaking mine? No, it's going to... Oh, it's going to break Great Plains. Tough. Okay. <clears throat> so now we see what green does. Green, it, with a trade... Will be able to break me. Without a trade, probably loses the game. I think he's probably my target. I'll deal with the bots afterwards. Are you here, sir? <laughs> Are you here, sir? I don't know if he's thinking. What is your prerogative, green player? The green player knocked me out of, uh, out of South America early on and then repeatedly broke my bonus once or twice up there. Uh, once is not repeatedly, but if it was twice or more, repeatedly broke my bonus. So I'm not feeling very sympathetic to the white player or the, or, or the green player. It was weird. They were aggro early and then, and then turtled. But I, I pretty much win the game here if he doesn't... Uh, if he bots out or if he just doesn't place anything. I think I go for... Oh, there's the 10 trade. Is that a bot? It is a bot. So it'll break me here. But it might go after orange after the first attack here. So now, now it becomes... A lesson in how to... How to beat a bot. So it's actually going to break black. Okay. Hit black again. Alright. Hit... Hit... Orange. Cool. Alright, the orange kill is pretty easy now. Especially because the bot kept going. And the bot's going to pull all of that off. So the bot's going to become a problem in a minute. But in the meantime, let's go, what, 8 here. And then I guess we'll just put this up here. Black, Black's going to be a little bit of a problem. Which is why we will break as much of that as we can. that the green player also didn't bot out though so maybe i'm inclined to oh, we finally got one of these we have back-to-back -back trades here okay maybe i'm feeling a little bit inclined to help the green player uh get a better placement um i mean that'll break me here i guess Maybe I'd bait it into breaking me down here. It's getting three. It's got six. What? Oh, did I miss a territory? No, that, that nine that I saw included this placement. So it'll break me in multiple spots. It doesn't break me in Mexico. That's nice. I think um, I think the green bot will break me down here. But I have so many territories now. I, it, it's a wrap, everybody. But I, I hope you enjoyed this display of how to beat bots and one very passive player. Uh... Got, maybe got a little lucky with blue botting out, but blue wasn't really aggressively breaking me when they were still in the game. You know, they broke this bonus, but then I just decided to fortify the, the small plus three up here. It was a smart retreat from my initial bonus. We kill black for their three cards off of our trade, no less. And then, um, oh, so I actually... No, green takes the bonus instead of breaking me down there. That's very kind of the green bot. Thank you, Green Bot. <laughs> that, uh, my chair just made quite a loud sound. I hope that doesn't sound like a fart on the recording, but you can't win them all. Uh, Creeklands or Chiapas? What do we got? Is Creeklands border or something? Creeklands? Where's the Creeklands? Ah, it does border or something. All right, we'll take Creeklands. Sure. And we'll get three from killing this black bot. Uh, I don't think I can kill green off of this, but I can come pretty dang close. I can really back it up into South America, I think. Unfortunately, only a dude trade next turn.
All right, we're gonna pull this over here in hopes of baiting it into hitting me there and wasting troops. But uh, yeah, this, this is a wrap. You know, 35 minute fixed game, not not terrible. It trades in, all right. It's a wrap, but not, uh, not maybe not on the next turn. We have four dudes. Oh boy. Does it hit my six? Now it goes to the right. Well, that's not very effective. So it'll break up here, and it'll probably break here or here. Pick down here, maybe both? Nope, doesn't even break there. All right, that is, uh, let's see if that's it. 40 plus a dude trade. Let's take Arkansas, why not? Where's Arkansas on the map? All the way over here. That feels like it's too far west, but maybe I'm crazy. All right, let's line up like 18 here. 10, and then the rest up here. I think that should be enough. Boom, 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 boom. And that is the game for you, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, as I do upload daily at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Comment what you thought about this video. Did I do a good job of dealing with the bots? Um, uh, I guess we'll see. Bad starting position. Made the made the most of it. Some other players might have frustrated each other and left. But we take home the win in this game. Let's check out the ranks of the players before we head off for the end of the video. All beginners. Okay. Certainly uh, room for turning things around. Uh, as always, everybody, thank you for watching. I have been C-Money. Hope to see you in the next video. Peace.